we want to show you a couple of coded setups for overloading our stream. And obviously, it's got to be based off of a class, and that's what we're showing here. There's nothing crazy about this class, but there's two things I want to bring to your attention. Number one is the data members of data one and data two, very simple integers. And the other one is the getters for data one and data two. Nothing crazy about it, but they are using functions to gather that data. And the reason is, is because, frankly, once we start setting up our overall function, this function is not going to be in the class itself. We're going to use that outside unless it needs to get different data portions of this. So I'm going to go scroll back up. The get data one and get data two were public methods, so anybody could call it. So this function that I'm about to show you is, well, going to gather those functions, the public functions, in order to display the data. The other part you're going to see kind of below here there is the O stream is the output stream. And notice we have an ampersand because things are going to be changing. You're spitting some new data out into it. The operator is those angle brackets that you see in file I.O. or C out or something like that. Then we have our O stream ampersand S and then our const. Again, we're not changing the class, so that's why we're putting in const in front of it and passing in the variable alias. So you'll notice a couple other things about the return OS here. It's always going to return the O stream parameter that was passed in, just so we know it's the same overall stream being passed in that's being sent back out. And, well, that's how it looks for now until we get to here. This looks like a normal C out statement, doesn't it? It just has OS in front because, again, there's several way or several different avenues that we can output our information. So that's why we're leaving it pretty general with O stream for an output stream. So we have OS, there's uh, crazy carrots, as I'll call them, and then the MC got get data one, and these are, remember those two getter functions that we had before? We're going to use them. It's the preferred method of getting the values because even though it might, the values might have been public-ish, we rather use the functions to make sure that we're clear to grab it and, well, I'll leave it at that, the information hiding that we talked about. So this is your overall setup when it comes to getting your function to work as an overloaded stream operator.